Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be playing some Tug, the unknown game. Um, created by Nerd Kingdom. This is an alpha build and at the beginning it does say that it will be broken and a bit buggy. So, like I said, this game's in uh, development at the moment. So, just one of those things that you have to bear with through the process. Now, I got this game because basically I backed the Ogscast with um, Winter Cool Games for the Og Ventures. Now that apparently has collapsed and anyone that was in the alpha slash start of the beta I do believe has been given a key so thank you very much to the Nerd Kingdom and to Lewis as well. I'm very um, how can I put it, very grateful for uh, what you've done there because this game looks like it's going to shape up to be absolutely amazing so I've seen a little bit of it and this is going to be pretty much my I think it's about third attempt at playing it so this is like a first impressions for me so we're going to jump into a new world we'll call it Nova's world so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little bit of the game and basically what it's all about in survival um, the servers at the moment don't work all that well I can't seem to get one running without it crashing at all the time so if any of you guys know how to get it stable and um, please let me know dedicated or as you can see there you can host it as a server so either way um, I'd be very very grateful I can't find much information on it that actually works so I'm gonna jump right in um, world already exists overwrite yeah sorry so really quick to load in and look at how good it looks already and this is just an alpha I mean just the way everything is how smooth it is the steam the particle effects the, the grass the wind in the trees absolutely everything looks amazing so these are apples I believe there are no tooltips anymore um, which personally I like I'm not sure about you guys, but I like it because it adds the element of what do I do. It's like um, the unmentionable game, as I'm going to refer to it as. Because their influence comes, well, a lot from that game in particular. And some of the mod makers that are actually uh, developing uh, mods for it have actually worked on this as well, like Thorncraft as an example. So, uh, so far, the idea of survival is to survive so you've got a blue bar a red bar and a yellow bar your blue bar is your hunger so I can eat using the food that I get in the environment and um, the yellow bar is my stamina so if I run about a little bit you see my stamina depletes and so does my hunger and the red bar is my health so I'm gonna pick a few of these apples up first so if you're wondering why I've got a rock in my hand I will show you so you need your basic tools as you do in pretty much whoop, every survival game so break that and it will give me a few components so I don't know what these are, I'm assuming that's like a cobblestone um, I can't really do anything with that what I need to find is a piece of flint but actually I've just realised I've got one so oh, there's a goat there um, at the moment there are no hostile um, mobs that I have encountered anyway and I believe something like a saber toothed tiger is going in which looks really really interesting um, this is a community made game as well so there's um, a lot of input that's going in through the community and you know if there's anything that you particularly like you should jump onto their website and um, give them their feedback you can find this just by simply typing in tug and it should be the first thing that actually comes up so as you can see already uh, I'm gathering plenty of things it's E to open your inventory so anything with a little cube is a building material and anything that doesn't is something that you can craft so the crafting system in this is quite unique as well so as an example I'm going to need an axe so thinking about it logically I've got a flint which you can just pop down or if you've got multiple you can just click it with the right mouse button and it'll go into your hand press Q to throw it on the floor make it a bit more realistic for yourself so there you go I've got three of them and I only want to oh no I'll try that one again there you go you just right right click so 
Now crafting is a little bit different. You know, this is one of the features that I really like about the game and I hope they keep this in. Press G over the items that you've got. Like so. And it will craft me a crude axe. Which if you ask me is just absolutely amazing. So you can use your tool tips to um or your tool tips, sorry, you can use your one to four to cycle through items that you pick up. So now that I've got this, I should be able to go and cut down a tree of some description. So the higher your tools get, the more you can actually do with them. So as the example goes, with this tree I should be able to cut this down now. Yep, there we go, which will break into multiple items. So you've got like long kind of poles which you'll be using for tools. Got some sticks, some log that if you break it turns into um, smaller shards of log and some of these square bits and an actual branch. Now as you can see these are building tools so I'm just gonna pop one of them in my hand and you always have this cool and cube rectangle right there so you can use your right mouse to click and that will automatically place blocks for you so as your example here now if you notice as well the terrain blends with the blocks amazingly so that actually looks like it's ghost but it's not it's the effect of the grass sort of covering the actual edge of the blocks so that is another really really good feature just the little things like this in the um, eternity engine I can see being absolutely amazing so let's get my little stone axe out and we'll chop down another tree and there we go, we've got some more building components, it's nice and easy, very simple way method of building when I can actually grab these so the next thing I'm going to want is there are sort of like I suppose you could call them crafting tables because they are quite literally tables but with crafting on the ground the one thing you don't want to happen is you take it out of your inventory and if it's rounded I should have uh, used apples as an example nope they don't seem to want to do it but if you're on the slope of a hill there you go they will literally roll down the hill so it can make crafting a little bit awkward if you don't have a flat surface so as you can see I built this little bit which would be the base of my house I suppose but instead of like um, using that I'm going to put this in my hand and I'm also going to drop this piece of rock so if I drop this piece of rock and I click a stick on there and I switch over again to some rope and click some rope on it press G again we're going to get ourselves a hammer a very crude stone hammer um, if I can remember how to pan it's just me in the game remember how to pan my cam out that's shift is to crawl and um, there we go so look at the detail on the actual characters the way they move absolutely amazing the crawlings a little bit strange but I'm um, clipping through the world there but I suppose if this game is set in almost prehistoric times when we first came about then you know this would make perfect sense because we've just evolved from pretty much monkeys to humans but these aren't these are called seeds so I'm gonna stand back up again and press X so you can actually see the character model so get my get myself out of uh, that shot there we go I mean for the for the level of detail in this game at the moment is just absolutely phenomenal I know there are some problems with to address with graphics cards but the devs already know about that so um, even walking into things you know as you walk into them they actually part but they don't seem to be doing it on that particular view so the, the animation though is just brilliant as you can see there's some mist over that sort of like horror themed biome there but um, the hammer right the hammer is used to break stones so now you can get plenty of building materials um, I do believe I've just picked up a blade of some sort which is uh, cool but I'm going to leave that cobblestone there um, 
going to want my axe so take my axe and break some more wood now just like the game I'm not going to mention because it will like most voxel games get compared to it quite a lot and to be fair it shouldn't because this game is in a complete and utter league of its own even though they've had a lot of influence um, but yeah it's it's one of those games that is in a complete league of its own so it's only fair to give it its fair chance and not compare it to other voxel games because nearly all the voxel games I've seen apart from a couple are nowhere near as good as this when it comes to this particular stage in the actual development so enough of that and uh, let's show a few bits and pieces off that the game is actually capable of doing so that noise means I'm full, my inventory's full, can't pick anything else up so actually I want that stick, I don't need anything else right so where is my wood place, there we go so what I need is some stones so just here I'm gonna put down a few of my bits so I can actually go collect some stone I don't know where that leaf went then but ah oh, there it is um, oh, and it's getting dark as well and um, this game can be quite dark at night uh, there is no gamma setting at the moment so um, right what do we want I'm going to need some stones so I need to find some of the little pebbles that I picked up in the beginning so ah here we go there's lots from over here now this is an item that we're going to need as well as these so there we go I've got another one so a green nice green looking rock there there we go there's another stone I'm going to need that break this so I am going to do a proper playthrough of this it probably will be a game that I visit quite a lot and play quite a lot because there's a lot of modability to it so it means that um, I can imagine adventure maps and all sorts of mad crazy stuff are going to be made with this <coughs> excuse me um, yeah so it looks like it's going to be one of the more interesting games out there it's um, I think it's 7 99 on Steam at the moment um, for that it's another big thing because it's been released on Steam and the way that they've um, done it for kind of their advertising is very good because Steam is very popular so this game is going to get noticed and picked up so very good uh, battle plan there now I can't find my little wooden bit it is quite easy to get lost so ah here we go this is it right so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go into my inventory now I've discovered these just by playing around with things and it is pretty much the only way I've discovered doing it so what I'm going to make now it's a torch. How good does that look? Come here. So, I have my torch. Can I scroll that into my... No, I can only uh, scroll the hammer in. So there we go. I've got myself a lovely torch just in time for it to start going dark. There are weather effects in it at the moment. You can hear the rain, but you can't actually see it at the moment, I don't think. Um, I, I could have swore I'd seen a tornado, but I'm not sure whether that's just me or the render distance being that far and good quality that one of those steam geezers or geysers depending on how you say it is um, playing tricks on me so with a right click you can place your torch and with these little sticks as well and a stone you can also make the smaller torches I think it's a stone anyway it might be a piece of flint if I have one but it doesn't look like I have so, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a weapon. So, or is it actually? Could it be this? And a stone. Let's make a torch. I think it is. Oh no, that's going to make me another axe. Damn. In fact, what did that make? Ah! it actually made me a knife 
Now these knives you can use for killing the goats and skinning them. There are a few weapons in this game already, so it's, um, it's got a few options for you to discover and uh, craft. I'm not going to go through all the crafting recipes yet, so you know if you uh, go and buy it yourself and you like the look of the game then you can discover these things because that's what it's all about. I believe the team also all have PhDs in various sciences and other subjects so that means what they've basically said from what I can gather and um, listening to a bit of poets commentary um, they are making basically a science experiment as well at the same time which to me I find amazingly interesting because um, I love science so it's just one of those things where it's like wow you know this could like turn out to be one of the greatest games this year just for the simple fact that everything's um, related to real life and it, it feels real it actually feels real playing the game even down to the sounds now what I've made here is the equivalent of a stone sword pretty much but it's a machete so I'm assuming what it is is flint so I can use this machete to pretty much chop down trees I can use it to attack enemies grab some wood I think I can even use it to cut into the terrain yep cut into the terrain there um, the terrain itself at the moment as you can see is pretty blocky with it being a voxel engine I can't pick any more of that up oh break that can't take any more of them what's this thing over here is this like an eggplant I don't know oh yeah there's a thing with stepping on anything that moves and it's sort of like catapult you. so as you would like in a dense area of jungle you can cut down bamboo you can cut down trees you can even cut down a mushroom or two if you want just for the hell of it um, there is uh, different types of food source you can get like oranges and apples and mushrooms things that are poisonous so you know you've really got to use your wits while you're out surviving I mean this is going to be so much fun when I can get the server working and I've got I think it's about four of us, uh, two two circuit nuts members and some time lord zombies members, um, which would be me and Chris for circuit nuts, as he is my partner now. Um, we will jump on this and we'll do a few bits and pieces, like maybe a survival games where we have a time limit, um, and then go hunt each other down, or we could, you know, build a survival um, adventure and sort of like preview what the game can actually do in its current stage in alpha. Um, or we could just survive, just live off the terrain and scavenge and well just live the life the way that we're set out to be at the moment um, which looks like we're in the sort of caveman era we are seeds as well that is our actual like kind of title, we are seeds um, so to show off a bit more of the building I'm going to need a few more materials so give it a lot I mean, it should be pretty quick once you know the basics to um, start off. Oh, can't cut that tree down right there. Come on. There we go. So, get some wood, uh, chop up some logs, the old machete. Can't pick that up. I'm going to grab a few of these. Go back to the little mound, wherever it is. I've lost it already. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to get lost. Um, it should be in this. It should be up here somewhere in the clearing. Yeah, there it is. So I've got a few more bits and pieces to build with. So I'll put them in my hot bar. And so with the actual engine itself, I believe they're going to try and make things a bit more spherical when it comes to like the way that the uh, voxels work you know it's going to be not just blocks but I hope to keep the block block effect in but don't sort of like overdo it with the block effect and maybe things like stairs being added and the, the rounding of um, like like with the rocks and stuff like that so you could literally make like proper stone roofs or slate roofs things like that I mean there's all sorts of things they can do with this engine apparently so I've seen some of the developments of um, on the if you go onto the page you'll be able to see the video yourself or you go onto the Facebook 
um, of how they actually design it. The you actually have the voxel tool itself for tug, so you can um, design your own bits and pieces. I'm going to pick that up and put it on there. Um, design your own like um, art and put it into the game yourself. So that's another interesting feature with it. So it makes uh, modability even easier for people who know what they're doing with design. Um, yeah, so there's a lot to be done in this game and with this game and it looks to be very very exciting so that's just an example of you know it's 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 similar to the way that most voxel engines work so you can build nice houses and you know put yourself up a shelter um, I suppose you could even place sticks underneath can you place sticks or will it just, it'll just drop it won't it but there's lots of things that you can craft so speaking of crafting do I have enough stones I don't I need to go find myself one stone so if we have a look around here there should be ah now this is like a kind of world worldy crafting stone so you place all your objects on here to make it much much easier so that is what I'm gonna do so if I put them on there and I take them I think I think it's when they actually <laughs> when they actually stay on and um, put that on top of it and this should make me a campfire but I can't actually move the campfire so that campfire is going to have to stay there but if you just did it on the ground it would appear next to the stone and you would have it so you can actually can have it um, on the ground so it looks a, a bit better rather than me just making it on that stone um, but this this game it's it's one of those things as I watched a little bit of poet stuff he was just so truly right in saying that you know it's just it just blows you away it really does blow you away what they've done with the game so far it's absolutely unbelievable and a massive credit to them as well really because this is just it's phenomenal it's going to shape up to be something so spectacular and I'm being a complete nub and not actually doing that correctly but things like this particular bit on the floor you combine that with some rope and a twig that will give you a pickaxe so you can actually mine uh, there is ore in this as well but I haven't got to the stage of um, mining or making anything that can sort of smelt or melt down the rocks so that's something I'm not sure whether it's implemented yet but we shall see we shall see um, I don't have any room left in my inventory so I'm going to get rid of some of this going to pick up this break this pick up that and hopefully when I can find my little my little wooden sort of placeholder as it is at the moment um, you know, I'll screw it, I'll do it on the floor. Um, I will be able to make a bench of some description, which is actually works as a literal crafting table. So, no, I can't do that with the hammer. Um, gonna need that. So, um, the other thing about this game is there's creative and survival there's uh, about eight different modes of layouts and ways of actually rendering in the game I have all my settings set up to high at the moment so that's why it looks so uh, pretty this is a haunted biome which does actually look quite creepy and scary um, the, I mean the effects on the trees all I think that's cobwebs either that or some unfortunate animal has been caught in the top of the tree um, these mushrooms you can cut down now I've got a feeling if I attempt to eat that let's give it a, let's give it a go shall we let's give it a go nope no I seem to be okay with that so that oh there's a goat Let's not let this goat get away. Come here, goat. Come here. Um, there are certain foods that will poison you, like I said before. So, uh, you've got to watch what you eat. 
there we go so now I can show you the example of skinning oh. so now I've got some delicious meat delicious meaty bits, get rid of that don't need it, and take my uh, stone back so with my fire I haven't actually tested this out yet, this is one thing I haven't done and so this little bit's new for me too I've never actually skinned a goat so uh, I'm not sure what the fur does yet either but this game is going to be a learning curve for me at the moment because uh, I haven't played it much because I only got my key the other day so and we've had like I said difficulty getting people onto the servers so there's one for you devs if you can uh, take a look into that one it would be muchly appreciated um, I don't seem to know where I am anymore I think I'm completely lost yep I'm completely lost I'll um, head back over to this biome and with a bit of luck I might be able to find uh, this is a wasteland as well that I'm running on uh, at this present moment I think this is a forest of plenty I mean there are caves cave systems those mushrooms are definitely poisonous so I'm not gonna pick them oh dear um, is that a log? no nope. it's a perfectly cylindrical cave like this one so there's lots to explore Ooh. that's a nice effect the roots coming out the uh, out the stone there um, there's lots to explore and there's lots to do so I don't want that, come on I can't break that because that's something I, I need a pickaxe for so um, there we go I can get out excellent so where is my little placeholder of a wooden floor type thing I'm not sure so this is a forest biome, which I think is called um, Forest of Plenty, or Plenty of Forest, one of the two. Uh, over here, slightly further back, is the jungle, not jungle, sorry, the uh, bamboo biome. And these apples are actually falling off the tree as well, which is another pretty damn sweet feature. Um, in the caves you can find crystals, let's cut, cut down some of these, get out of the way. There we go, cut them down. Lovely. So I can actually make my uh, carve a path through. Good idea if you want to remember where you are as well, because it is quite easy to get lost. Um, what else do we have? Ooh, this tree's pretty. Sweet. I don't think I've ever seen one of these trees before. What does that give me? Logs. Yeah, it's just uh, the normal woods. The normal woods. Um, I think this bit here is more of a jungly biome with all the palm trees and stuff. It's a nice upcropping there, actually. That'd be a nice place to make a house. So if I run around to there. I mean, um, yeah, there's um, snow biomes, there's hilly biomes. I mean, the, the hills look absolutely amazing. Uh, I've only spawned into a biome once with the hills and stuff, so unfortunately, ooh, that looks like a Venus flytrap. Don't like the look of that. What's that down there? Oh, it's a tree in a rock. Um, yeah, so the the um, biomes are pretty damn good, all of them, to be fair. So, I mean, this game is well worth checking out. Well worth checking out so if you like this video I'm going to leave it here for now I was just showing some very very basic pieces um, I will be coming back to this regardless but if you like it uh, let me know in the comments give me a like, a subscribe, share it around because this this company really really does deserve to be known for what they've done in such a short amount of time I think it's been out for a year so you know they've been working really really hard on this and it's absolutely amazing and if um any of the devs watch this then um, yeah thank you very much for creating something that is truly magnificent from scenery to the way that it looks like the game is going to develop like I said it's very community driven so you know get your input in you know if you put input onto this channel then you know a dev might come across it and you know they might take your input from this and actually feed it into the game in some way so 
yeah, it'll be well, well worth checking this game out. Anyway, I've been known for getting six. You guys have been awesome. And like, share, fave, subscribe to the channel, keep us supported. If you like it, let me know. I'm quite happy to do some more solo stuff, but I'd rather have the servers up and running to get um, a nice big survival game on the go. But yeah, either way, there will be more of this covered. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.